Hello people watching at home, this is Walking and Talking with Phoenix and today we're talking about losing yourself so that you may find yourself and this is also in particular a message to those who have just graduated from school or what, what have you and you're considering you know what career you want to commit to and whether you should start taking up studies and whatever this is aimed especially at you guys um, a lot of people when they come straight out of school there's a lot of pressure put on them by their parents and peers and whatnot you know that they should you know immediately figure out which direction they want to take their life fundamentally and which career they want to you know develop and you know there's a lot of pressure that they start studying and start taking these steps or figuring out these steps my advice actually goes against that my advice actually goes towards figuring out who you are first and what you want in life before you start figuring out which steps you need to take to achieve your goals there's no uh, and it, before you even try to figure out what goals you have there's no point you know getting out your piece of paper and your pen and your thinking cap on and writing out a plan for your goals if you don't even know who you are all right and this is the mistake i see a lot of people making and I think it's tragic, you know, a lot of people that just come out of school, all this pressure's on them, they figure out something that, you know, they're kind of good at, or they reckon that they could be good at, and something they kind of like, and they think, okay, that's the best shot, and I've got to make a decision now, so I'm going to do it. And they start studying that particular, in that particular domain, and I end up procuring, you know, various jobs and developing a career in that direction. And then years later, you know, this can be like 10 years later, 20, even 30, 40 years later, a lifetime later. They look back and, you know, they think, well, I'm not fulfilled. I'm not satisfied. I've hated my job for the most part. And I feel, I feel like I've never really, I've never really achieved anything. It wasn't really what I wanted to do. And I think that's because they try to, you know, focus so much on doing something because they had to do something coming out of school or whatever, that they didn't really figure out who I was, who they were, and what job was at, and career pathway was actually best suited for them. So I think to avoid having those regrets at the end of a, a career that you really loathe and that isn't really as well suited to you, I think there's a lot of benefits. Once you finish school, in taking a break, maybe just doing a bit of paid work, you know, just get a feel for the working life, maybe become a waiter or something, work on your people skills at the same time, you know, like I did. And whilst you're taking that break, you can take your time and lose yourself in a bit. And when I lose yourself, I don't mean take drugs and go on a bender and destroy your mind and detach from reality and live in a bubble. I mean, lose yourself means, you know, you're not focusing so much on doing, you're not studying in particular, and you're not figuring out, you know, which career you want and all this progress, progress. You have time to progress, all right? There's no rush. Despite the pressure that's being put on you, there is no rush. Take your time. And when I say lose yourself, it's really losing your sense that you have to know who you are. That you have to know what plans that you have in life. That you have to know what career you want. Losing the sense that, that you know who you are supposed to be which is what parents want you to do. They say, okay, you're out of school. What do you want to be? I want you to figure out who you want to be so you can start studying for that. Lose that. Allow yourself to explore life, experience life, connect with people, experience everything there is out there to experience and develop your sense of appreciation and your awareness of all the different possibilities in life. And then after maybe a year or two of doing that, you can actually go, okay, now that I've lived life a bit and I've come to feel who I am in my own skin and I've come to feel what makes my heart beat and what inspires you know, my mind, then you can maybe start getting out your pen, your paper and your thinking cap and think, okay, what do I want to do? What is best suited for me? Instead of thinking prematurely, oh, what am I best suited for? What could I do? And then losing yourself in a, in a pigeonhole reality of black and white and gray once you actually start thinking okay what is good for me what is best fitted for me you can then start developing a life full of passion inspiration color it's not drab and boring and monotonous it's something you hate but you just something you fell into and you never got out of it 
but you'll actually be doing what you love to do or what you enjoy doing and you'll feel the wind of inspiration underneath your wings propelling you to greater heights than you can imagine if you just took whatever whatever it seemed to work at the time coming out of high school so that's my advice if you've just come out of school don't listen to your parents you know let them know look I'm not gonna be just a lazy uh, half ass layabout I'm not gonna let my life go down the drain give me a bit of time to figure out who I am so I can figure out what the best course of action is to take for me you know you don't want to set the ship sailing off into the seas in whatever direction before you truly come to hold the compass of your heart and your mind and your hand and see which direction that you truly should be going in if you want to find that treasure at the end of it all. Cheers for watching guys, walking and talking with Phoenix, feel free to like and share and subscribe and come back for more Foodle for your noodle later on. Take care everyone and remember you have time, it's better to measure twice and cut once than to measure once and cut twice. Thank you.